Tuesday. So today I'm gonna to show you the outside of my house. We live in Arkansas, as y'all know, but this is this is what I woke up to today. It looks like it's melting though. It is all ice. It is not snow, it is ice. So, it got pretty cold. Uh, I think next week we still, three, two or three days, it says chances of ice and snow again. I wish it would snow. You know, we live in the South and I hate to live in the snow because I'm cold all the time, but it'd be nice to see it, you know, playing it for a day or two and then be gone. But, so, let's see. Weight loss is going good, 11.3 pounds. I weighed myself yesterday and actually it would have been 11.7, but gained gained uh, just a tiny bit of weight. So I am making my breakfast slash lunch. I had you guys on, I'm gonna show you this thing I've been trying to use. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so it is where you put your phone on and then you have a suction cup at the bottom and I was trying to hook it to the counter or the cabinets looking down on what I'm doing but it is not sticking I have no idea why so I gave up but let me show you real quick um what I'm making Hey guys, today is Saturday, so I am in the kitchen right now, and I am making um, homemade low-carb tortillas, so I'll have to show you guys what they look like. They are made out of egg whites, coconut flour, and baking powder, and then of course like seasonings that you want in it, so let me just kind of show you where I'm at right now. I am going to work at getting a camera into the kitchen this week because I know it's hard when I make food and I cannot like point down to show you guys what I'm doing. I know it's kind of hard um, when you first do a recipe for the first time. So like I said, this is my first recipe making these. But first try, I think I'm doing okay. They don't taste bad. You know, you're, they have eight egg whites in them, so you are going to taste egg, you know, and just a third a cup of flour. But I put in the onion powder and the garlic and those spices to make the tortillas taste a little spicier. We are having tacos tonight, so I'll be making those here in a little bit. But um, I thought I'd try and make low-carb tortilla shells because all of the shells are way too hard are way too high on carbs and um, that's not something there that I wanna be at right now. So um, I thought I'd try my hand at making my own. Okay, come look at this one. So I need to practice at making them thinner. I'm, I mean, I'm getting thinner as I am making them, but I still need to go a little bit thinner. So um, I'll show you my end result when I am completely done. And then when we have tacos, I will bring you into the kitchen and show you everything at one time. Okay guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I made the shells for my tacos, which were made out of coconut flour, eggs, and baking powder and spices. So there is my dinner. Right there, I've got two of them, and I will let you know how it tastes. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, and um, it's been a good day so far. Actually, this has been a good year so far, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it will continue to be a good year health-wise, family-wise, and vacation-wise. And who, I mean, what can I say? I gotta be happy, right? So... Let me find what I did with my lip smackers. As you know, I have an advent calendar that I forgot about um, 
doing at Christmas time due to COVID and all that. So let me look and see if I can find just 10. I think I'm on number five, if I'm not mistaken. And part of these are pulled off. So let me look, there's four, there's one, there's five. Number five. I love the little ones that have their little pots. Smells good. Like a pinky color. Just a little clear. And I like it. I'm going to try it. I try all these because these are the ones I'm keeping for me. It is so soft and nourishing. Yeah, let's see. Okay, that feels good. So let's see, what am I gonna do this week? Um, I got a few Amazon items in yesterday. One of them is that psyllium husk. I will leave pictures above. Um, I needed that to make bread with. I got a muffin mix and a brownie mix, and I want to try and make one of those today. I'll leave pictures up here too. Um, I did get my jello also, so that is what I need for the donuts. So I think I'm going to wait and make the donuts closer to when our friends are coming so that we can have snacks already made. Um, so I'm going to do that and I know it's kind of like a lot of cooking or preparing things that are keto, um, still at the same place. Basically I've been for days on my weight. So I want to up again, um, four tenths of a pound. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, but then, you know, more of a down than up. So I'm okay with that. I'm still at like 11 point something pounds lost, which I'm very happy about. Everything fits much better. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys didn't see, I put a stitch fix out there. Um, it was definitely a five for five, but I did not have the budget to purchase all five items, even though I wish I, I could have. I did get the jeans that I told you I've been went looking for for a year. Um, those were awesome and they kind of fit me right now. They're a little tight on my waist, but as I'm losing the weight and the weight's moving around, I'm sure they'll be just fine. So, um, excited for that. So that's kind of it for today. Um, we don't know if our kids and grandkids are coming, depending on weather around the four, four o'clock hour um because i don't want any of them driving in weather that's you know not good so we'll see what happens but after i see the snow i'll take pictures and put it into my daily vlog so once again guys welcome to my daily vlog it is sunday this is the first day of the vlog i am starting on sunday this week instead of saturday so I will see you either later today or tomorrow. Sideways. Okay guys, so this is what you look like in Arkansas and you're standing out in the snow. It is snowing still. We probably have about 10 inches. Yeah? Maybe. Around eight to, well, probably 10 inches. As you see, you can't see my feet. I got boots on and they're under there somewhere. So we have had a winter wonderland this year, which is awesome for all of the kids. And I'm the first kid to go out in the backyard. Can I throw a snowball at you? No. <laughs> Can I pick you up and throw you in the snow? <laughs> we can make snow angels. No. Come on. No, go ahead, you do it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the 18th of February. Today is Thursday, and in Arkansas, we have a ton 
of snow. So, Arkansas, you get a lot of ice storms sometimes in the winter time, but you really don't get snow. And so it started snowing last week. I think it was one or two days last week it was snowed and snowed. And then it snowed again yesterday. Um, it, was, it was supposed to snow again today, but it, it it's not anymore. But we have about 10 inches of snow outside. I am going to insert the video that I took standing out in the snow. Um, it looks like perfect snowman snow, my husband said. He's been out trying to clear the driveway. Um, we have not left at all, and tomorrow we have to go to Walmart to pick up groceries. Um, but there's a lot of snow. <laughs> I, I've seen some great pictures of my grandsons with their sleds sliding down the hills, and it looks so awesome. But it um, hasn't been safe to travel on. So we have not left and just watched more video. Hopefully by end of week, we can still have snow around. And we can go over there and have a snowball fight. I don't know. Just have fun. Um, also, my lighting might look a little bit different. I have two lights. I have a ring light. That I'm looking at right now that's actually where my phone is on my desk so it's not the regular ring light um my ring light I turned on and it blew out it started flickering and I changed all kinds of cords and stuff it took a dump so I'm hoping that I still have enough um lighting that it will be okay so, like I said, today is the 18th. It is Thursday. I have not uh, vlogged very much over the last couple of days. Nothing really going on. Um, Health-wise, though, I've been having some pain that was not normal um, for a couple of days. So, I rested, and there's a couple of days I just pretty much passed out. I was so, so much in pain. And... Um, Today, though, that pain is not here anymore, which I'm really glad about. But um, I will have, I have a colonoscopy coming up next month, and I will have my GI doctor check things out because that's kind of in the area where I was having a lot of pain. So my dad has diverticulitis. I have not, um, but I do get... Every couple of years, I have to have a colonoscopy done because there's colon cancer and other things in my background, family background. So I get that stuff done too. So he'll check everything. Um, today, I started out good. Every day is good. I am up and breathing even when I hurt. It's still a good day, right? So I woke up and I've been doing, you know, my chores and just taking my time to do stuff today. And I'm starting to get a fibromyalgia um, flare up in my back. So I noticed that when I was in there changing the dishwasher out and doing those things. Um, that's kind of how it actually started. The first time I had it, um, I was on a cruise and we had just got home. And about three days after the cruise, it started in my back, in my shoulders, my middle back. So that's where it is today. It's not real severe. And you know, I'm on medicine for that. Um, but medicine can't cure all um, flares you have. So um, I'm doing okay. Um, what else is going on today? I'm getting ready to film a, it's called VIP video. Um, I've been out on YouTube and I have been looking at other people who are blind and kind of looking to see what kind of questions people ask them about their blindness. So there is a tag going around that's called visually impaired person VIP and there's some questions associated with it. And I think it's maybe 10 questions. Let me look real quick. So I have the questions up here. And we're going to go through them one by one. And this is going to kind of tell you about my visual impairment. OK, 
Okay, so there's seven, eight. Looks like nine or ten. But first, today is day six of opening up this calendar. Does anybody else do advent calendars for Christmas? I wonder when you start ordering those things. Because I know you, you can't order them in December or November. They're always gone. So... It's kind of a little, looks like a peachy color. Like I told you guys, I love these little pots. They're so small. And if you lose one, it's okay. So that's my day six in that one. So far, I've gotten four of the little pots and then two of the little sticks. And those little sticks are going to my, grand, my granddaughters who are five and four. Okay guys, so I'll check in with you again tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and film this other video, so be looking for it. It's gonna tell you a little bit about me and my blindness.